I really like cosmetics and I don't think that anyone who has ever seen my channel before or watched even a little bit of one of my videos in the past would be surprised by that statement. But what if you could wear more cosmetics on your loadouts? What if instead of three cosmetic slots, there were four? Before we get into all of that, I just want to let you guys know that a bunch of you watching right now aren't actually subscribed. So if that is you and you're here a lot watching my videos, I'd appreciate it if you click the button. I want to see if I can hit 110k fairly soon. Also, this video is sponsored by quicksell.store. They are an online trading website with a huge inventory of stuff that you can trade for, which is really nice. And sometimes you can even buy stuff in that site for around buy orders, which is quite rare and you don't normally get to do that. There is also a giveaways tab where every single week they give away an unusual. So definitely make sure you check that out. And the site is fully automatic. So you don't have to be trading with actual people and you can trade at pretty much any time of the day that you would like to. The link will be in the description. Definitely go and check them out. They are a really awesome site. I've used them before in the past. Definitely recommended. Okay, so listen, for the longest time, TF2 has only had three cosmetic slots and an action slot, which for the most part has been absolutely fine. It works, you can make a bunch of really cool cosmetic slots, and for people, most of the time, that is all they would ever really need. But I think I'm kind of getting to the point now where I think there's more that can be done here and more interesting sets that can be designed with four cosmetic slots and just generally better looking items that you can use put together if you had another slot to use. And honestly, I think most people agree. I did a community poll on my YouTube channel and literally 92% of people said yes, they would want to see that. So that's kind of insane. Okay, so my main reason for this and why I think it should be in the game is it feels like each class can be broken up into multiple sections, right? Their head, their face, their body, legs, and feet. So that's like five sections if you don't count like a backpack slot and maybe like a forehead slot. Is that without even need a slot? But to keep it simple, there's like five slots that a class could wear a cosmetic on most of the time, right? So with those five sections, you only actually have three slots to try and fit something onto all of them, or you'll end up just leaving them empty, which works fine for things like a character's legs and shoes a lot of the time. But sometimes you just kind of want to cover more of it and you want to add more cosmetics that make your set look nice. So if you did want to cover everything, you'd have to find a cosmetic that does a little bit of both. And those do exist, but not all of them are great. And I'm not sure if every class even has multiple cosmetics so they can cover everything in three slots. I could be wrong, but I've never seen it. For example, my current loadout, I would love to add some transparent trousers to the set. I think they would look insane. Or I'd wear my bunk boy and I have it underneath the cone, which would also look great. And when I said transparent trousers, I didn't mean like actual trousers you can see through because that would be really weird. Like there's some really cool camo trousers in the game that I would add to my set with the flakjack basically, but I don't want to take off my mask or my cone. Or instead of those trousers, I would also add the bonk boy to my set. So I got given an unusual one and I would love to use it with my cone. But I don't want to take the fuel injector off. I think one of the reasons, right, that four cosmetic slots would be amazing to see is that all of the rich people in the community, which I'm not part of, by the way. But like all of the big boy traders and all of like the very, very rich people could wear quadruple unusual sets there's no need for them to be doing that but they could do it if four slots existed so you could get something like burning scorching sunbeams and green black hole or something crazy like that i'm not sure where green black hole just came from but we'll roll with it but even if you take away the unusuals i think people will get way more creative with their loadouts make the loadouts way more personal to them and more like their loadout I think you see a lot of people running around right now with very similar looking loadouts to another person who's probably in the same game as you. And I think having that fourth cosmetic slot would mean that you can add another item into that that makes that set more yours rather than the same set everybody else is using. Now that same problem will probably still exist if four cosmetic slots were in the game, but there's more of a chance for the loadouts to be different. Okay, so now I've talked a little bit about why I would like to see this in the game. Let's talk about why this might not be such a great idea. The first reason, which honestly, I don't think is too much of a big deal, but it will annoy more people more than it will annoy me. And that is clipping with your cosmetics. So if you were wearing a bunch of cosmetics that either had a weird equip region or something like that, or like a shirt and then another body cosmetic, you might end up clipping those items through each other quite a lot, which doesn't really ever look that good. You get away with it on some hats, but some of them you just, you just don't get away with. Now, the reason I don't think this would be too much of an issue is because the same equip regions would still exist. You won't be able to wear two shirts on top of each other because the game doesn't let you do that now. 
And I hope that people will kind of have the common sense that if something looks really bad and really clips through each other, then they might not use them together and they'll pick a different cosmetic. But it is a genuine issue, I guess, that some people might have. I just don't think it's as big an issue to just not do this whole thing because of that. But the main reason, and the reason this is probably never going to actually happen in TF2, is that there would be an insane amount of lag involved with having four cosmetic slots for every person. Like TF2, as it is right now, isn't the most well-optimized game in the world, and giving every single character another cosmetic that they can use probably isn't the best idea to help with that whole lag thing. So if I were to do something simple, like allowing four cosmetics to be worn, that could end up spiraling and making it so Valve had to make a bunch of optimization changes just to get this one thing to work, which realistically, they should be doing optimization changes anyway, but it would be kind of forced on them for wanting to do something kind of simple, like giving people an extra cosmetic slot, and I don't think they'll really go for that. I almost ran out of breath on that bit. I mean, my final thoughts are kind of just at this point with there being new cosmetics every update pretty much, we're kind of in need of another slot to even start using some of these cosmetics coming into the game. So back when TF2 started, it would make more sense to only have three cosmetic slots because there just weren't that many hats or cosmetics in the game that you could use. Whereas today, there are absolutely hundreds of cosmetics that you can use and we are still limited to the same amount of slots. Like, we can get by with three, but just why not have a fourth? Anyway, that is going to do it for the video, guys. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure you leave this video a like and also subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. I would love to see if we can hit 110k subs fairly soon. So if you're not already subscribed, just click the button. Also, a huge shout out to Quicksell.store for sponsoring this video. If you want to do any kind of trading at all, I'd recommend that site. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching once again, and I will see you all tomorrow with another one. Goodbye.